Hi, welcome to the College of Veterinary Medicine. We do a lot of research and uh, clinical trials on uh, horses involving the use of regenerative treatments, such as the use of stem cells and platelet-rich plasma. So the platelet-rich plasma is derived from the blood and only from the blood. The stem cells are derived from a number of sources, including the bone marrow and fat, otherwise known as adipose tissue. Commonly here at the University of Georgia, we use the bone marrow because we have developed the techniques to verify that the stem cells that we obtain from the bone marrow are actually effective in treating these injuries. So when we obtain blood from the horse to derive the platelet-rich plasma, uh, what we're doing is concentrating platelets, which are very important in tissue healing. Platelets contain little granules within them that when they are opened into the tissue, release what are known as growth factors. And there's a whole slew of growth factors, probably a dozen of those, that have already been proven to help in tissue healing. So essentially what we're doing is concentrating these growth factors at the site of injury to promote healing of the tissue. The stem cells are already participating in the healing of tissues within the body of the horse. What we're doing is adding a, a pool of stem cells that are concentrated to the site of the injury so that more of these cells can actually aid in the repair of the tissue. So with the stem cells, we're actually hoping to recreate the tissue that was injured to a, a greater degree of function, such as what it was prior to the injury. There are inherent deficiencies associated with the traditional form of treatment of these injuries. So generally, the hallmark of these injuries, treatment-wise, has been rest and rehabilitation, the administration of medications that decrease inflammation, which is always present in, in these injuries. So basically the treatment is largely what's called symptomatic. So they address the symptom of the injury, but they don't actually address the injured tissue in itself. So what the regenerative approaches are meant to do is take advantage of the inherent ability of the tissue to heal and aid in that healing process and therefore restore the tissue to the integrity that it had prior to the injury. When the clinician selects platelet-rich plasma, it will be an immediate use type of product. So the blood will be drawn from the horse and the injection will occur into the injured tissue within an hour or so from that harvest. With the stem cell approach, you need time to grow the cells and verify that they are of adequate quality to then be able to aid in the tissue repair. So that process can take several weeks. So obviously, the clinician will make the choice as to whether or not the injury is more amenable to the former or the latter treatment. If the injury is very acute, meaning a brand new one, the clinician might choose to use the platelet-rich plasma so that he can immediately intervene. At the same time, though, the marrow will be harvested from that horse, and then the cells will be grown out, and then the horse will return to the hospital for a subsequent injection of stem cells. They're used independently, but they're not necessarily selected to be used either in one case or the other. In fact, it's more common that they're used as a combination. And as a matter of fact, the platelet-rich plasma oftentimes serves as the vehicle to deliver the cells to the tissue. There is a, a large body of evidence to support the use of these cells in aiding injury. But there are disclaimers that have to be made. So a lot of research in lab animals have, has demonstrated the benefit of these treatments. Uh, a fair bit of research in the human field has demonstrated the effective use of these treatments in various human diseases. And there's a lot of clinical evidence from veterinarians out in the field that receive these horses back in their practice to show that they actually do better than they did prior to us using these treatments. So it's very encouraging. This is the only treatment really that gives us the hope of restoring the tissue to near its original status. As opposed to other treatments that, as we already said, were just treating the symptoms and hoping that the horse would then heal them, these injuries on his own. So I think that in that light, I think they are extremely helpful. What has happened recently in the last five years is that there appears to be some centers developing across the country that are more interested in the regenerative approaches. And the main reason why these interests arose is because of the research that individuals started to do on the treatments, and then as a result, they became clinically available to the clients. One thing that has to be clear is that the treatment of the horse with these injuries is largely um, a, um, a team approach between the veterinarian that sees the horse in the field and the clinicians that treat the horse in the hospital and the, and the owner. So, so the veterinarian in the field usually is going to diagnose the injury, is then going to contact the clinician at our institution and say, I have this injury, would you recommend this treatment for this injury? They usually send you images such as ultrasound and x-rays and and then you make the decision with the veterinarian to time these treatments appropriately. So the horse will then 
show up, get the treatment as we outlined previously, and then be followed up by the veterinarian in the field with subsequent images, ultrasound, and x-rays. It will be then sent back to the clinician for evaluation, and then recommendations about further treatments and rehabilitation will be made based on that relationship. The follow-up can happen both at the institution and, and with the veterinarian in the field. The University of Georgia's area of practice would be primarily South Carolina, the state of Georgia, and parts of Tennessee and Alabama, but there's no reason why horses cannot be shipped from further than that. In fact, that happens fairly regularly. Horses nowadays travel a lot, for example, between the northeast to Florida for the various show circuits that happen depending on the time of the year, and so oftentimes they will stop by to receive a number of treatments, including this one. Probably the most important questions would be, where are the cells going to be harvested from? What kind of screening processes are you doing to ensure that the cells are of good quality, that they're not contaminated? Have they been screened to demonstrate that they're actually mesenchymal stem cells? Because there's a lot of other cells in bone marrow and in fat. Um, other things that, what is your, how many cases have you done so far? That would be a question that you and I would ask if we're going to get any type of surgery from a human orthopedic surgeon. We'd ask, well, how many knees have you reconstructed? Well, asking those questions are, puts people on the spot, but would be a, a valuable way of investigating whether they know what they're doing or not. And for the most part, at some of these institutions like ours, there are individuals that are very well prepared to answer some questions, and just contacting people like myself or others uh, is going to be really useful, whether there is an injury or not that needs to be treated.